province is on the verge of bringing in tough new animal cruelty laws, the toughest in the country. Break those laws and you could end up paying $75,000 in fines and spend two years in jail. The province also giving a sizable grant to the SPCA to improve the investigations of animal cruelty. A break in the rain gives Lori Chortik the chance to take two-year-old Chloe out for a walk. The lab retriever cross is one of dozens of animals at the SPCA right now waiting for a home. Thousands more end up here every year abused by their owners. And it's those cases the shelter doesn't always have the resources to investigate. All of our cruelty investigations funding, about $2.3 million a year, comes entirely from community donations. So um, we're, really, we're really limited in some areas. There's whole areas of the province where we don't even have a constable, and that's just not acceptable to us. Unacceptable also to the province, which today offered the SPCA $100,000. Premier Christy Clark says the grant, combined with new animal cruelty laws, will help crack down on the worst offenders. The most important thing that we're doing today is we are building our capacity to be able to protect those very vulnerable animals. <laughs> Animals like the ones slaughtered near Whistler last year. Between 70 and 100 huskies were killed by the employee of a sled dog tour company following a slump in business. Today, a task force looking into the industry issued its report and recommendations, including calls for a standard of care. We believe that this code will set out clear standards for how sled dogs should be housed, fed, exercised, socialized, and in some cases, unfortunately euthanized, as well as some retirement options for sled dogs. The province also wants to arm Crown Council with the expertise to prosecute animal cruelty cases. And under the new laws, those convicted could face fines of up to $75,000 or two years in jail. But what we can do as a government as, and as a society is to try and put in place deterrents that are strong and that will be enforced. And that's our best defense against making sure that these kinds of things are far, far less likely to happen. Lori Chortik is hopeful that will be the case, but says the animal cruelty laws will only be as tough as those enforcing them. If we don't have the bodies on the ground to do the investigations and if we don't have Crown Counsel who are going to push these cases through, um, it's words on paper. Words that could soon apply to other industries. Tordick believes if the new legislation has any teeth, puppy mill owners will also need to watch out.